China's economy continues to deteriorate and all industries are in recession. A large number of factories, enterprises, and physical stores have closed down. Once prosperous shopping malls and commercial streets are also deserted. People's lives are difficult, and many are forced to lie down. Guangdong Dongguan live broadcast host. This was a very prosperous place, but now, at 11.20, there's no one here, including the KFC and Starbucks next to it. There are no customers. A Dongguan live broadcast host described that in the most prosperous business district of Chiaotu Town, Dongguan City, many stores have closed down and the streets are empty. Guangdong Dongguan live broadcast host. Many storefronts are closed. Many can't continue to operate and have shut down. Some are available for rent. Even if they're open, there are no customers inside. On October 18th, People in various areas on the mainland told reporters that almost all cities are now in a Great Depression, with many stores closing down one after another and unemployment everywhere. Mr. Li, a citizen of Xiamen, Fujian said, Now, even in the entire coastal city that once had the most advanced economy, most people who ran shops, factories, travel agencies, and entertainment venues have gone bankrupt in recent years. For example, some physical factories have a few days off, and the boss has sold all the machines. The workers come to work, but there's no place for them to work. The boss is in debt and has no business. Some can't even pay wages. China's economy has worsened. Local governments are heavily in debt, and civil servants have generally faced salary cuts, unpaid wages, and the loss of all welfare benefits. Mr. Li, a citizen of Xiamen, Fujian said, Now in some places, buses can't pay wages, so services have stopped. While Ximen's buses haven't stopped, many taxis aren't running as they used to. The tram has become very popular here. To save costs, people generally buy trams. It's more convenient to ride a bike yourself. Many people on the mainland say that many are now forced to lie down, and basic consumption has also shrunk. Mr. Zhou, a resident of Shenyang, said, Now, from business owners to middle-level leaders, grassroots employees, and restaurant owners, it's a period of depression, and no one is having an easy time. Companies of all kinds are laying off employees. I have four friends who've been laid off. We're just trying to survive now and have to be prepared to lie down. A Guangzhou Live broadcaster noted that in recent years, many shops in Guangzhou have closed, and the once prosperous business district has become deserted. A female live broadcaster in Guangzhou. Look at these physical stores along the street. The locations are excellent. Many storefronts are empty, and now a large area has closed down. Physical stores can't continue. A Qingdao Live broadcaster stated that the economic depression in Qingdao is severe, even at dinner time, the dining area in large shopping malls is almost empty. Qingdao, live broadcaster. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. Ordinarily, as mealtime, there should be a lot of people, but after walking around, there's almost no one. The once crowded Guangzhou Shangxiaju commercial pedestrian street is no longer thriving. Guangzhou live streamer. I'm now on the Shangxiaju pedestrian street in Guangzhou. This side is divided into two streets, the upper and lower streets. This is the lower street. As you can see, around 7 p.m., many shops have closed. To be precise, many shops have not been open for a long time. You can see that these closed shops are all in a row. Mainland residents believe that people now lack money and don't consume, leading to the closure of a large number of physical stores. Mr. Wang, a resident of Dongguan, Guangdong said, Nowadays, general store owners, hardware dealers, and small supermarket owners are all closing down. Look at the barbershop owners. They have no money. Some men don't even go to the barbershop to get a haircut. You can get a haircut for 20 or 30 yuan, or some people get it done roadside for 10 yuan. A Guangzhou live streamer mentioned that barbershops have also closed down in recent years, and many people around him no longer visit them. Guangzhou live streamer. I haven't been to a barber shop for several years. The key is that more and more people like me don't go to barber shops. Like my neighbors, 
Most ask their wives to cut their hair. A physical store owner shared that he had been doing business for many years, but now he loses money in everything he does, so he has decided to lie down. Mr. Zhao, a physical store owner in Shenzhen said, I know many colleagues and other business owners. Many of my customers are also in business. Experienced business people aren't doing well this year. Food, drinks, clothing, and daily necessities are all struggling. So if you're considering starting a business, stop. Don't do it, just lie down. In this kind of society, if you want to make 10,000 yuan, it's hard to pocket it, but to spend 10,000 yuan goes fast. Don't start a business. It's truly blood and tears. Shenzhen, once a prosperous metropolis, is now in a depression, with a large number of physical stores closed. Shenzhen residents said, This is the Happy Coast Shopping Center in Shenzhen. Look, all the shops are closed. This restaurant is closed. This amusement facility is closed. Everything is closed, and there aren't many people in this mall. Dongguan is in decline. Shops are closing down in rows and internal competition is serious. Dongguan is an important prefecture-level city in Guangdong province and plays a key role in the economy of both Guangdong and China. However, as China's economy continues to weaken, internal competition in Dongguan has become so intense that technicians lament how difficult it is to make money. Chang'an town in Dongguan, once filled with factories, now sees rows of shops closing down, and merchants are struggling. Inside and outside the industrial park in Gaobu town, Dongguan, people are rarely seen. Dongguan is a world-renowned manufacturing center, especially famous for industries like electronics, footwear, and furniture. It was once called the World's Factory, attracting significant foreign and domestic investment. But how is Dongguan today? Blogger Xiao Xin from Chongqing said on October 23rd that he and his wife came to Dongguan a week ago. But within that week, he realized they couldn't stay in Guangdong anymore. They packed their luggage that day and returned to Chongqing at night. He said, The biggest feeling I had when I came to Guangdong this time was that it was too hard to make money. I visited Dongguan and found it was extremely difficult and competitive. I found that not only were we facing technical competition, but many processing companies were not making any profit, and other industries were also fiercely competitive. This morning, 23rd, when I went out for breakfast, I saw a roadside barber shop charging only 10 yuan for a haircut. The owner had to pay rent and labor. How could they make any money? He sighed. After all the twists and turns, I was the one who suffered the most, and nobody made any money. Businesses in important towns in Dongguan have been ruined. Guangdong Dongguan blogger Junbao filmed a video in Chang'an town, one of the most important towns in Dongguan, to document its current decline. He said the shops in Chang'an town were once very popular and in high demand. There were factories everywhere, at least hundreds, and rental housing nearby. Chang'an town's GDP used to rank first in Dongguan city, and its geographical location was relatively advantageous. However, now look at the shops in Chang'an town. Rows and rows of shops have closed down. Almost all the clothing shops have shut their doors. There used to be a big stage in the town that was lively every night with people dancing. Now it's so desolate, it's become a parking lot. It's so hard to do business now. There used to be a row of milk tea shops in the town, and every weekend there was a large flow of people. Over the past two years, businesses have been ruined. The shops are all closed and no one cares. Dongguan is really in a pitiful state. Junbao said that only a few shops are still open, and it's estimated that the rent, water, and electricity bills aren't even covered for a day. They're definitely losing money every day. He visited a street in Chang'an town, capturing many people with his camera. He said, they're all unemployed just sitting and playing with their mobile phones. The shops on the street are deserted, and no one is going into shop. It's really miserable. Workers. There are basically no people in the industrial park. Dongguan blogger Lao Chen said that he worked as a temporary worker in a factory in Gaobu town, Dongguan, for a period of time last year. This year, there are fewer workers in the factory, and there are basically no people. 
Both inside and outside the industrial park in Gaobu Town, it's deserted. He said that last year, many people were still going to and from work in the industrial park, and there were also many eating supper. There used to be densely packed stalls outside the industrial park. Now, only two or three people set up stalls, and there is no business. Everywhere is empty, and the streets outside the industrial park are dark, with no one to be seen. China's industry is crumbling, bankruptcy everywhere, people cry about hard life. China's economy continues to decline, and all walks of life are in a deep depression. Physical stores are closing down one after another. Amid the wave of unemployment, more and more homeless people are appearing on the streets. A female blogger in Xiamen, Fujian. This is Wanda Golden Street in Huli, Xiamen. The video I shot at the beginning of the year showed that 50 stores had closed down, and now there are 40 stores. This should be the peak season for physical stores, but there are still so many stores closing down on one street. Mr. Li, a citizen of Xiamen, told NTD that the current economic situation is not good, people are not consuming, and physical stores are closing down one after another. Mr. Li, a citizen of Xiamen, the most prosperous Zhongshan Road and Jinshan Road were basically full of empty stores. This store can change three owners in a year. After taking over, there was no business for two or three months, and then they changed owners because they couldn't continue to operate. Mr. Lee said that there was no business even during the National Day Golden Week. Mr. Lee, a citizen of Xiamen, this is the quietest national day since I came here more than 20 years ago. I work in the tourism-related industry. In previous years, our business was booming, but this year there is no business. People around me, including those in my living area, who used to love traveling, don't travel anymore. Mr. Lee revealed that many taxis in Xiamen have also stopped operating, and everyone has bought motorcycles to save costs. Mr. Wang, a shop owner in Dongguan, Guangdong. Now no one has basic consumption. We are operating without profit and struggling every day. It's so sad and anxious. I haven't bought any clothes in the past two years. Even the vegetable market doesn't have many people buying vegetables now. The video shows that on the deserted streets of a city, a street vendor had a mental breakdown, stamping his feet and wailing. Mr. Wang, a shop owner in Dongguan, Guangdong. Prices are rising now, including green vegetables, onions, and pork. When you open your eyes every day, you have to think about your rent and where your water and electricity bills are coming from. If you can't hold on, you can only endure it slowly. Going back to your hometown is a dead end. There isn't enough money to grow crops. There are many homeless people on the roadside now. Mr. Zhao, a resident of Shenyang. There are often many young people sleeping on the streets in train stations and squares in many big cities. Many people are so desperate that they have no desire to live. The video shows that in first-tier cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen, a large number of young people are stranded in bridge tunnels, parks, and stations. After China's National Day, physical stores are closing down again. First, let's focus on the news from China. China's National Day Golden Week, which used to be a booming business period, is unprecedentedly quiet this year, and all sectors are in a terrible state. After the National Day long holiday, the performance of physical stores has dropped sharply. Many stores can no longer hold on and are facing another wave of closures. Mr. Li, a citizen of Xiamen, revealed that Xiamen is no longer prosperous due to the large-scale withdrawal of foreign capital. And no one wants to buy houses, even if housing prices are halved. He has worked in Xiamen for more than 20 years and has contacts with fellow villagers from all walks of life. The National Day Golden Week, which used to be a booming business period, is unprecedentedly quiet this year. For example, no one goes to the barber shop anymore, and it is much cheaper to get a haircut on the roadside. Mr. Li, a citizen of Xiamen, many physical stores have closed down, and some have closed one after another along entire streets. The rent for the stores is very high, and we can't afford to keep them open. Plus, there is no business. In the past few years, our fellow villagers gathered several times a month to eat and drink. 
But now we don't get together even once in half a year. The impact of catering and online stores has little to do with it. The main reason is that everyone has no money, so they reduce consumption. Wages have also fallen, but prices have risen again. Mr. Wang, the owner of a convenience store in Dongguan, said that China's economic downturn and people having no money to spend have led to the closure of a large number of stores. Some stores have changed owners several times a year and still cannot remain open. Going back to their hometowns to farm does not make money, and there are more and more homeless people on the streets. Mr. Wang, the owner of a convenience store in Dongguan, sometimes I don't have enough capital to keep the store open, and I can't even make enough money for living expenses. Business is bad, and I feel very depressed and anxious. There are many people who can't pay rent, and stores are closing down. My rent is hundreds of yuan a day, and I want to sell the store, but I can't. I still have children who need to go to school, and tuition is tens of thousands of yuan a year. I haven't bought a piece of clothing in two years. Pharmacies and small clinics that used to be popular have also seen a wave of closures. A Guangzhou doctor who goes by the pseudonym Wang Jian said that he went to work in a small clinic after retiring. After the epidemic prevention was relaxed at the end of 2022, there were too many patients to handle. This year, however, it is very quiet, and the clinic's rent is 12,000 yuan a month, which isn't enough to cover the cost. Guangzhou doctor Wang Jian, pseudonym. China's economy is very bad now. There is no business. Many small stalls have closed, many clinics have closed, and there are no patients. The boss is losing a lot of money, and I haven't been paid in a year. The vaccine was paid, but those people are greedy for hundreds of billions, and the people are very angry. A Sanya education and training operator using the pseudonym Liu Yong revealed that it is difficult to do business in China, mainly due to the serious corruption of officials. Liu Yong, pseudonym, a Sanya education and training operator. Nowadays, no business can be done at all. The biggest problem in China is that private property is not protected. The boss is a lamb to be slaughtered at any time. If you do business honestly, one person will blackmail you today, and another will blackmail you tomorrow. If they say they will cut off your power and water, they will. You simply cannot run a business in a long-term and stable manner.